This is known as a carpet snake or the carpet python, as it is more often known. Found in several subspecies depending on the location. It's simply insane. I assume what drew him in was the fact that these non-venomous constrictors prey on small mammals and birds. Adults typically range in length from 2 to 3 meters, while some can reach 4 meters. Depending on their size, their weight might vary from 5 to 15 kilos. It's amazing to me that he made the transition from the roof to the tree without falling. Though growth slows after maturity, these snakes continue to grow throughout their lives. Be mindful and courteous of all wild animals, including carpet pythons, whether you are traveling through or living in Australia. Although they don't have poison, they can bite if they feel threatened or provoked. Recently, a Reddit user posted an intriguing security camera video. The video shows a peaceful yard that is only softly lighted by a few stray lights. Shortly after the video starts, an enigmatic entity that resembles a mist appears on the right side of the frame. This presence seems to glide or drift in an almost random path, and it vanishes just as quickly as it emerged. Even more frightening was what came next. There was an odd sound that the camera heard, something that sounded like a far-off scream. But the source of this unsettling sound is still unknown. Some spectators have conjectured that it might have been the wind whistle or a passing car. I'm not familiar with that. Though the plants usually wobble with the gust of wind, there doesn't seem to be any visible movement. Still, anything can happen. In any case, anything could be a scam, so please share your thoughts. Regarding the enigmatic figure that resembles a mist, numerous theories have been proposed. Some have simply made jokes about it being someone puffing on a vape. Others question whether it's just the effect of the sprinklers going on. Some have even claimed it's simply a light trick, a bug, or a reflection. Whatever the ideas, the owners and their neighbors are undoubtedly feeling unhappy about this. Regarding my opinion, I'm not sure. I don't think it's all that supernatural. Maybe right now I'm just over it. In the midst of the Amazon River, on a remote island in Brazil's jungle, scientists discovered something remarkable. Considering that humpback whales usually inhabit the cold waters of Antarctica, they were very taken aback when they spotted one. On the island, vultures circling above a massive mangrove tree caught the biologists' attention. When their curiosity was piqued, they ventured farther and were shocked to discover a 26-foot-long, motionless humpback whale's body entangled in thick vegetation, around 50 yards from the coast. The whale's death from natural causes a few days earlier was confirmed by the authorities. Researchers were taken aback by the discovery, particularly since many of the humpback whales that resided in the waters around Brazil often traveled south to Antarctica during the summer months in search of food, discovering a humpback whale close to the entrance to the Amazon, approximately 4,000 kilometers away from its usual surroundings, leaving specialists perplexed. Faced with the whale's size and the remote location of the site, the committed biologists examined the enormous animal carefully at low tide, collecting samples, but were unable to move the whole thing. When the tide went out, they would continue doing this for days. They considered a number of theories regarding the whale's death, such as ship crashes or entanglement in fishing gear. Unfortunately, they were never able to obtain any conclusive evidence. The biologists' determination to solve this incredible puzzle remained unwavering. Their curiosity was piqued by the finding of this whale in such an unusual place, which encouraged them to continue their research. This video is really cool. We watch as a wild mountain dog, having discovered this cadaver, makes a valiant effort to haul it up the slope so he can devour it. This snow leopard, though, thinks otherwise. And first, let's address the obvious issues. This leopard is really stunning. Examine the design on it. Nevertheless, he manages to reach the carcass, as you can see. 
The dog is truly taken aback by the leopard. Just as the dog is pulling it, a leopard suddenly appears in his field of vision. I'll give the dog the benefit of the doubt because he merely flinches a little before gritting his teeth and preparing to battle to defend his find. However, if you look closely, it's funny. The dog's entire attitude completely changes. Additionally, the leopard appears to be tilting its head. There has to be an animal code behind that. It's like the calm before the storm, as the dog gives up the food and withdraws right away. The dog seems to have experienced a come-to-Jesus moment. I should really just let this dead, cold leopard carry it away before it drags me away to become a warm, dead cadaver. All right, I adore this video. Look at this photo, which was taken by a man who was simply enjoying his lunch on a lovely day. A massive sea lion leaps off this dock. I have never seen a more magnificent huge animal dive than that one. I have to know what the hell he was doing, really. Is there anyone who knows? Is this typical? He seemed to be attempting to obtain a fish, bait, or other item from someone. When he jumps off that thing with his little flapper arms, that is what I mean. That guy was just going as fast as he could, really. That's fantastic. There was a startling possibility of a Bigfoot sighting at Yellowstone National Park on August 3rd, 2023. My buddy captured these two figures in Yellowstone today. He initially mistook them for bears, but upon closer inspection, he realized they had been walking on two legs the entire time. Bear. One of the park rangers said, Wow. Looks like you've just captured Bigfoot on camera, after seeing the footage. The man expressed his wish that he had captured the park ranger's priceless expression on camera. This is the video. It shows two large, hairy creatures who appear to be roaming close to the Yellowstone River. While driving on Grand Loop Road, the person filming noticed these critters. He continued to glance over before deciding it was too nice to pass up. To acquire the video, he pulled onto a little access road. A lot of people on the internet think they are Bigfoots. I'll state this. Since this was just recently, I anticipate that both experts and doubters will soon be extensively examining the video. As far as I'm aware, not many people have criticized the video thus far. Irrespective of one's viewpoint, this video is definitely captivating. If I learn something new, I'll let everyone know. All right, now watch this amazing video of a bobcat attempting to kill a deer for a little while. This dramatic altercation between a bobcat and a deer was seen on trail cam, and it looks like something from a wildlife film. Can you even image getting a picture of this with your trail camera? How fantastic. Watch as the bobcat tries to pull the deer down by flipping around all over it. This is one of the most amazing trail camera videos I have ever seen in my opinion. Just picture yourself watching the trail camera footage and not really expecting much. Then, watch as this fierce conflict plays out in front of your very eyes. Just observe the bobcat's efforts to bring down the deer. See how nimble he is. See how committed he is, too. The bobcat's audacious action, despite the size disparity, emphasizes its predatory instincts and the extent it will go to obtain a meal. Let's be careful not to overlook the deer. The deer is also aware of what's happening. The deer is struggling to survive. I contend that he is battling far more fiercely than the bobcat. What a fantastic, powerful capture. After seeing her daughter's strange conduct, Texas mother and TikToker Sierra Casey has grown more concerned. There was one instance when the small child ran screaming from her bedroom and would not go back. Sierra watched the nanny cam footage out of concern and was astounded by what she saw. In the footage, her daughter can be seen seeming lost in her room before running to her mother in response to a terrifying scream. The mother shouted at her, the daughter claimed to Sierra, but a careful inspection of the bedroom showed it was empty. Previous recordings of the toddler being startled in her room, seemingly in response to an unseen presence, further added to the mystery. Sierra, the mother, is now quite emotional. 
She firmly believes that a paranormal event is occurring at her house, captured on camera. Nevertheless, a more concerning prospect has been raised by TikTok viewers who have viewed her story. It's possible that someone is breaking into the ring camera system. The discussion is still going on. Is there a more immediate danger to Sierra's child's safety, such as an intruder acting remotely? Or has she managed to gather evidence of a haunting? I find that video eerie. Have any of you watched the films when people's ring cameras are hijacked? They have the ability to peek inside your home. They are able to communicate. However, it seems to always happen to young children, which only serves to heighten the creep factor. But I would check them out if you haven't already. They may be unsettling, but in my opinion, the more information you have, the better. We can see that this jaguar has daringly dashed onto this neighborhood road. She appears to be fighting for their attention and trying to get them to notice her rather than attacking. One man shoved the jaguar to one side, scared and confused of what was happening. Couldn't believe what he was witnessing, really. The jaguar persisted nonetheless. A forest warden who happened to be there in the group sensed a problem. It was as though the jaguar recognized him as it drew closer to him. All right, you will be the one to assist me. You will comprehend. The jaguar tugged at him, and finally the man came along. The men chased after the jaguar for ten or so minutes as it raced down the road till they came to a well where the cub had fallen in. A rescue squad was promptly dispatched by the park ranger and arrived at the scene. The youngster was not going to have much longer to live. It was suffering. After consulting one another, they chose to lower a trap cage, and, ideally, the cub would be able to enter on its own and be lifted up. From a branch, the mother jaguar watched her youngster with anxiety as it realized that the cage was the only hope for her. Eventually gained entry, and the rescuers lifted her to safety, but their work was far from over. She had to be returned to the wild in a secure manner, and as soon as they did, the mother's thankfulness was evident. What a fantastic story. YouTuber Kyle Harrison was simply chatting and playing with his child in the living room when suddenly one of their toys starts acting strangely. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It sounds like someone is speaking backwards and is producing some extremely unsettling noises. Kyle even remarks, What's up with this thing? Man, this is going to give me nightmares. Some people are hearing what appears to be words among the gibberish, while others believe they are hearing some sort of chant with the phrases reversed, things like, It's here, it's near, and I'm near. It's quite difficult to tell. You can hear the video better if you play it slowly. It's here. It's here. But what are your thoughts, guys? Are all of you hearing the same sound, or is this a random glitch? Indeed, that seems a bit suspicious. The most bizarre aspect was perhaps when a viewer of the video commented, They have the same toy, and it's never gone off the rails like this. Not even in the situation where the batteries are about to run out as Kyle had previously proposed. Anyway, what are our thoughts? Does this child's toy require fresh Duracell batteries or is it already possessed? The following film was shot as part of a summer program to teach children to nature, a youth backpacking trip. It's unlikely that they planned for these children to come into contact with the most well-known cryptid in North America. But one thing is for sure, None of them will soon forget this journey. The party was going on a three-day hike in the highlands of the Sierra Nevada. Many of these kids had never been in the mountains before, so they opted for a simpler route. Though not too high in altitude, that specific trail took the group to a remote valley just over the mountains, at the other side of a noticeable ridge. The trail was isolated even though it wasn't very tough. It was the first time the party had seen another hiker since leaving the trailhead. Even though they were in the woods, they weren't by themselves. Check out that ridge. It's evident that someone is strolling along it and heading into the woodland. The issue? The guy doesn't seem to be carrying any hiking equipment, 
and there aren't any trails up there. At the time of this encounter, the group was at least five miles away from the trailhead. Should this be a man, he probably belongs to the mythical tribe of off-grid dwellers found in the world's most isolated regions. But upon closer inspection, it looks like the man has a lot of thick hair all over him. This would make me think that Bigfoot is the only creature we are observing. As the Bigfoot descended the ridge and entered the shade of the woods, the group watched him. That night in camp, none of them could sleep, although it didn't seem like the beast wanted anything to do with them. Throughout the rest of the journey, they saw no indication of it. But I can assure you that after that, none of them went back to the region. We then get video from a couple who went camping in a state park close to home. They didn't go too far into the wild, but they did come across something very unsettling. Although it's difficult to see a distinct form in the dark, there's definitely movement in that area. Though it resembles a person, the couple was positive they were alone that evening. Moreover, this guy appeared to be wandering aimlessly, away from any trail and without any apparent camping gear. To put things in perspective, the couple stated that they had taken all of their gear with them and that the camping location was six miles from the parking lot. That's why it seemed strange to see someone there without any equipment. Despite the lack of conclusive evidence, they both think they may have encountered Bigfoot. They swore they would never go back there. How do you feel? Perhaps just a shadowy figure meandering through the woodland? Or perhaps a sight of Bigfoot?